Hey, hi, what's up guys? Dharma here with an exciting tutorial in Photoshop. Well, not much exciting, but very simple one. In this tutorial, we are going to recreate this Facebook logo. Actually, very simple to do. So, let's get started without wasting our valuable time. <laughs> here in Photoshop, uh, create a new document and name it just like you want I am naming it as logo and set the width and height to 500 by 500 and I set uh, the background contents to transparent and hit ok and here is our document with layer 1 and I want this layer to be filled with a black color select this layer go to edit fill and use the black color and hit ok ok now we have our layer 1 filled with the black now it's time to draw a shape. On the keyboard, type the letter or hit the letter U. It gives us the shape toolbar. And here, choose the rounded rectangular shape with the radius 30 pixels and set the layer style to none. Okay. And now here, a sh shape. Just like I did. Once you're satisfied with your shape, on this layer palette, the shape one, just right click, give blending options. It is to give some color to it. Since I, for this tutorial, I am making a Facebook logo, uh, it is actually in blue color, so I am going with the blue color. If you want to change the color or if you want your own custom color, you can always free to change them. Okay, for this tutorial purpose, I am going with blue color only. If you want, you can change. Okay, uh, let me see which one looks great. Uh, I think. It is good to go <laughs> okay not so great but uh, good to go and i'm also giving inner shadow to it with the uh, uh, zero distance and some size okay it's, uh, uh, it's, yes it's good to go okay now it's time to place some text on it okay hit the uh, choose the uh, typing tool or hit the letter t and uh, click anyway here and type the letter F since we are making Facebook logo <laughs> okay just click on it and hit control T or uh, choose this text layer go to edit free transform to scale it size it and position it just like you wanted I mean according to your preferences I am scaling it uh, I'm positioning it in this place. Yes. Uh, change this color to white and position it. Okay. And if you want to move it, you can always use this move tool and move. Okay, we have half done. In some cases, you might need your logo uh, to have some glassy look okay uh, here is how we do it hit letter u to get uh, this uh, options name and here this time select the electrical shape and the layer style to none and draw a shape just like i did okay if you want to move this uh, shape i'll we can always go to edit free transform path and uh, just move it just like you want okay when you satisfy hit enter and set its opacity uh, nearly to 20 to 25 percent okay, 20 looks great okay okay here we have a problem and we have to exclude this part from this mask uh, one way to do this is on this layer right click and choose raster size this layer okay and this layer is selected hold down control and click on the shape means here this selects the outline in the shape one uh, and now go to select inverse and now we have selected this these pixels where we don't want this uh, we where we don't want this white color and hit backspace um, okay we done it and go to select deselect that's it it's very very simple very simple to do you have done it uh, you can use this similar technique to create a more spectacular means your own logos are recreated existing uh, here is an example for google plus uh, logo 
and uh, a YouTube logo in mobile phones and uh, here is the Tumblr logo uh, all these logos are created with this technique same technique only you can see it here and here is an accidental logo the YouTube logo actually I don't think it's the correct logo I have not access, uh, no access to internet right now and I think it is not the correct one okay okay that's it go and create your own customer uh, okay uh,